Welcome to the League of Legends Honest Champion Review, featuring Yasuo, the Unforgiven. As in, anyone who mains this champion is probably unforgiven by all their friends because holy crap, this dude makes my head hurt. Yasuo is notoriously one of the most annoying and fun champions in League. Fun, fun to play as, not against. God, no one likes to play against Yasuo. Like, come on, even people don't play League know that, right? Yeah! Yeah! Like, you know when that one dude on your team asks who they should ban? Yasuo will always be a very popular recommendation. This champion has literally had a 25% ban rate average currently, and that's a low for Yas. Since release, this dude has had a 40% ban rate average. At one point, Yasuo is even banned in 80% of the games. Do you guys even realize how freaking insane that is? There are literally over 150 champions in the game right now. Not to mention, 10 bans was only released in 2017, so back then, each game only had 6 bans in them. What the frick, Rito? I want my burrito. I'm pretty sure that's when Riot even knew they screwed up, because then it dropped to like an 8% ban rate right after. It took Riot about 7 years to start balancing this champion out, and they're still working on it. First he's completely busted, and then they nerf him to the ground, and then busted, and then ground, and then busted in the ground, and so on and so on. Dude, I can't even imagine what those meetings were like trying to figure this out. On December 13th, 2013, Rito approved the final release of Yasuo. And from then on, the world of League of Legends was never the same again. Yasuo then went on to become one of the most popular champions in the game. Hence the 1 billion skins Rito has released for it. You can always tell what champions are the most popular by how many skins they have. Like, put it against Orin's one skin, for example. Rip in the chat for Orin mains, baby. Rip in the chat for Orin mains. Everyone's favorite part of Yasuo is his ability to smack you around like an ape, whether or not he's doing good or bad in the game. If this dude is 0 and 10 and you try and fight him, you're probably gonna die. If you're a fed 15, 2, and 11 Ash, you're probably gonna die. It doesn't matter if you're fed because, well, he's, he's Yasuo. It doesn't matter if you kite him perfectly, well, because... Yes, well, like, like seriously, if I play this thing, I don't feel like I have to do well in the early game at all because I know I'll become an insane monster into the mid to late game as long as I get 3 CS a minute. In fact, if I die 5 times early on, I'm not even phased, I'm just closer to my 0 and 10 power spike. It gives you an entirely different mentality when playing this game. It's not like Nidalee where if you fall behind, you become a useless piece of deep fried cheese. The cheese starts to hit back after a while. You're not just hit back, hit back hard. On the other hand, if this dude ends up getting fed early, well, let's, let's just please save us all some time, eh? Eh? The thing about Yasuo is he's actually not the easiest champion to learn. In fact, he's probably one of the hardest champions in the game to play properly. Mastering his wind wall, for instance, takes hours of discipline and dedication to Okay. His kitten stats are just so strong, like the knockup has pretty much become patented to Yasuo at this point. Even if there's not a Yas in the game, people get PTSD when they get knocked up in the air. They've seen the horrors of what can come next. Yas even grants the average Iron Nooblet the ability to make another Iron player cry and quit the game. And all it really takes is rolling his face across the keyboard a few times. In fact, it sounds like an exaggeration, but I'm pretty sure that's what half of the ass players do in low elo. And hey, honestly, it usually works, so I can't really say too much against it. If for some reason, you do end up deciding to become a Yas Wool main, here are some of the rules you must follow. If you get a single kill and you're on my team, you must act like you can 1v5 the entire team, even if you can't. And that's a very important part to understand. Because if you're on the enemy team, 
you must actually 1v5 and get a pentakill too. Like, every time. There are no exceptions. In all seriousness, the difference between a good Yasuo player and a bad Yasuo player is, like, freaking massive. So, my respect goes to those who really put in the work, but then I take that respect back for being a Yas main. Playing against somebody who knows what they're doing on this champ is actually the worst thing in the world. Still, Yasuo is a hard champ to master. There are so many little tricks here and there that just take time to get good at. However, this is the only time I'll admit that, because after this video, I will continue calling the champ a brainless box of boysenberries, just like the rest of the community. Adios and grassy Yas for watching. See you next time. What the f